Hello, sir. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So your film, uh, Darkest Hour, um, it's been nominated for the, uh, the, it's got the film of the year here, and it's been nominated for six Oscars. How does it feel for a film you wrote to get so many awards? Um, yeah, it's thrilling. I, I was sitting at home on my little couch, and I uh, had the TV on as they were calling out the nominations, and it really was, um, occasionally in your life, it's a real fist bump. It's like you get to go to the ball, you know, you win the brass ring. Um, I was happy for myself, of course, happy for everybody in the team. It does great things. It keeps your film in the spotlight. Um, so that you stay in the public mind a, a little longer. Every film has, has its little season. Um, and that's sort of doubled if you get Oscar nominated. So I was really pleased for everyone. And obviously um, nominated as well is uh, Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk, yeah. which obviously is like a, a, almost a, a, a bookend to Darkest Hour. Um, have you seen the film? Do you like it? No, I did. I think it's a wonderful film. Um, it's funny that, that um, they would come out in the same year, but um, you can't govern those things. And actually they coexist in a kind of really nice way. Our, our film, however, is more about Will, or, Will, Will Winston agree to a peace deal with Adolf Hitler and... Um, you know, uh, Chris is a, more of a sort of beachhead procedural about how to get some men off the beach. Um, but uh, no, they're, they're, they're a lovely sort of uh, double act, and so maybe someone will do a sort of super super smash cut of the of the of the two movies at some point. So um, obviously, pro the pressure's on since the you know um, uh, the success of this movie. Um, have you got anything else on the horizon? Yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff. I'm doing. Uh, we've got Bohemian Rhapsody coming out at Christmas next year. Um, I'm working on uh, the John Lennon Yoko Ono story. Um, I'm having the great pleasure of working with Yoko on putting that together with with a great team, which we're just assembling right now. I have uh, Anthony Hopkins playing Pope Benedict in a Netflix movie that's that's shooting right now. Um, with Jonathan Price playing Pope Francis, which is a theological debate between these two heads of the church, uh, and a couple of other things which I won't bore you with. Are you optimistic? I'm always optimistic, Oscars or not. Um, I think um, you know, Gary will take some stop. Um, I think it's richly deserved. I mean, you know, I think it's one of the great screen films of all time. And, um, I don't really want to be a pundit or jinx anything, um, but there's a, there's a chance of one, one or two more. Uh, but it's just a, a credit to everybody in the department. They have an incredible team, and they have a really different company uh, from Joe Wright all the way down. And will you be attending the ceremony? I will, yes. I'm actually nominated uh, for Best Picture, so I'm a producer on it as well. So, um, yeah, I'll get to go to the ball. It's all quite fun. And was he, um, was he the person who first envisioned the play role when you first wrote it? A uh, Gary Oldman S type actor was in kind of in my mind. Someone who could sort of convey the youthful energy of the 65 year old Winston. Because uh, Winston. Despite his age, had real pizzazz, he had mischievousness and a like schoolboy quality, and Gary captured it. You were a writer on Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, yeah. It's had a bit of trouble production, yeah. which we'll get, get into, but it's, are things now back on track with Dexter? Absolutely, and absolutely, yeah. So it's, um, it's wrapped, it's, it's in the can, um, and uh, you heard it here first, it's going to be extraordinary. Um, uh, the movie, the music, uh, the central performance by Rami Malek. You better have a tuxedo because the stuff I've seen um, is stand up. And what did Dexter bring to the film? You know, to do it is set after coming in at late notice. Dexter brought his <laughs> professionalism. Um, very gifted director, and it's a hard situation to walk into for anyone when someone's you know half prepared the meal and you've got to finish off and, and stuff like that. But around them, was, was, was providing the continuity was as a you know, British cruiser, just a extraordinary. Grammy's a, a brilliant Freddie. He's a brilliant Freddie. Get ready. We will rock you.